Hi guys, welcome to part two of the um, 10 pounds into 500 pound challenge. Um, so just doing a little bit of catching up on all the accounts on eBay and Depop and everything in a minute. Um, and I thought this would be a good place to start part two. So where we left off last time, we'd just been to the car boot and had started listing those items. They have gone live. It's Monday now, they went live on Saturday. So we've had two days. Um, trying to think now, one of the items is sold, which is the Ferrari jacket. So that went on all platforms as normal. Um, and Vinted got the sale. So this is slowly turning into a, a Vinted series, which is not the way I thought it was going. I mean, I'm not complaining, things are selling, which is good, but not where I thought it was going. Um, 25 pound for that, obviously no fees. The other sale, um, I think you can guess what that sale on, which was also vinted, was the Dockers jacket. In the end, just wanted to get it selling. Um, so got an offer agreed at £13.50 on that. So as it stands, looking at my wonderful spreadsheet, um, which I'll show you now. So here's a spreadsheet in all its glory, but the main thing is you can see there, we have a budget of £57 and £3. So that means in the space of a couple of weeks, we have started with a £10 note and we now sit with a budget of £57 um, and three pence, which is very important. Um, and we have got three items which are unsold, which are the two night hoodies and the vintage jumper. Again, they've only been on a couple of days. So obviously we need to go out and buy some more stuff. Um, so I'm going to go to, got quite a busy week this week, so I'm going to go to charity shops um, as I can basically. I'm also looking on Vinted and trying to stay away from clothing. Obviously I want this to kind of be an eBay series, it is the world's biggest reselling platform and what I was basing this series on. Um, so it would be good to buy some stuff that isn't clothes and is more geared towards eBay. So I'm going to try my best to stay a bit more away from clothes, which is kind of why Vinted has been dominating this series so far. And let's try and keep it to eBay. So I'm going to end this clip here. And we're going to pick it up, hopefully, with um, a little haul of items. So let's see how we get on. Right, so um, after that short little bit intro there, this is an update. So I filmed that on... Monday last week um, and we are now on Wednesday in this current week uh, which should be the week that the video is going live if that gives you some sort of context. So how have we been getting on? A um, bit slow really so where we left it off last time I think the budget we'd managed to get up work our way up from the original £10 up to about £57. Um, then following that we got Another sale, that sale, believe it or not, you're not going to believe this, it was on Vinted. Um, like I say, this is just turning into a Vinted series, but we are going to get that eBay sale and we are going to make this a creditable eBay series. But the sale was the Nike Zip Up hoodie, uh, the black one, that sold for £10, no fees, £10 into the budget, getting us up to about £67. But obviously, like I said in the last clip, we need to start getting stock. So um, over this week, we have bought and listed, I think five items. Um, so that is a backgammon game, which cost um, about three quid. I th when I was looking at comparables, I've seen some really good prices, like 25 to like 50 pound. Um, unfortunately, the one I got turned out, it's kind of only worth about 10 pound, but we've got that on live at the minute. Then we've got an F1 shirt. Um, can't remember the team. I think it's Super Super Aguri, um, which were a team from a little while ago. Um, but with the Drive to Survive series, F1 stuff's quite popular. So hopefully that will sell. Um, I could see eBay maybe getting that sale as well. I think we've got a couple of watches on it. Um, and the other things I bought, I have actually got to hand, so I will show you here. These were all bought on Vinted. I haven't really had any luck with the charity shops. Um, the last car boot I didn't bother going to, it was quite busy. And this week's car boot, um, which is going to be a bank holiday one, is looking like it might get rained off. But fingers crossed, it doesn't. Um, anyway, on to this. So this is a Nike England um, hoodie. Got the spell out on the back there. Said size large, because large size is good for rugby clothes. 
but it fits as like a really slim medium, more of a small really. Um, so we've got the travel about £20. It's only on eBay at the minute, but I'll get it cross-listed soon. Then probably the best item of the bunch is this Fred Perry quarter zip. Really nice, brown and, uh, brown and navy stripes. Fairly new era piece with your tag there. Yeah, but just really nice. Got this in a bundle with this Jules polo shirt. I'm going proper eBay reseller here. Jules, Fred Perry. That's the sort of brands you want, isn't it? Come on, we're going to get that eBay style. We will, we will. Um, sorry about the squeaky floor if you hear that, by the way. Um, anyway, this is Elephant Polo. Um, there you go, Nepal polo shirt. Yeah, just that proper eBay kind of item. Got this up for about £15. That's what we're looking to achieve anyway. So with those five things that we bought, I believe that cost about £24. Let me double check. Yes, so purchasing those five items came to £24.33, which was an average of, it was an average of about £4.80 an item. Quite high. Um, obviously, I like to keep sort of purchase cost down to about two or three pound an item but like i say we're really struggling for stock so sometimes you got to pay up um make smaller profits but obviously contributing to this series and of course we want to get this series done relatively quickly not because it's i don't want to do it it's just entertaining obviously if i'm watching this series i don't want to be watching it for ages and ages and ages to achieve a relatively achievable goal if that makes any sense i don't know if i'm just rambling but this will probably be it for this episode. So I know it's a bit of an anti-climax, but the, the positive is um, we've worked our way up from those original three items to have several sold and there's seven items on um, the various platforms up for sale. So although our budget sits around about £47, I think. No, tell a light, it sits around £42. The exact figure will always be on the screen. I'll get it right in editing, which isn't a big increase on the last episode. The main thing is we've now built up a bit of a, a stock list. Um, so we're going to keep trying to buy items. Um, I'm looking into trying to maybe get a cheap wholesale to kind of accelerate this series. But we'll see where we get up to and I'll see you in the next episode.